morning, everyone. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to Fox Farms. I'm Looney Farm Guy. The six million dollar farmer. <laughs> I never get tired of that. <laughs> We're here spraying in the field with uh, with our new John Deere uh, spot sprayer. You see the little sensors up there. They they uh, they keep an eye on the weeds and uh, they zap them when you when you drive by. Now it's a very neat idea. It's part of that precision farming pack. Uh, we'll we'll turn the worker on here and we'll show you exactly how it works. And he's going off on an angle, isn't he? <laughs> it's like no. Right. Okay. Let's get him straightened out here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the weeds, uh, when precision farming is being used, the weeds um, are not, uh, it's, they're scattered like it would be in real life. Uh, you would have patches of weeds and some areas that are not so weedy. Um, and uh, if we look very closely, it's just spraying the weeds, not everything. So it's not doing a full blast of everything. It's just hitting uh, the spots with the weeds. And if you look at our um, uh, our volume of herbicide, it's actually going down very slowly. I have I've actually done two fields, and I'm still on the first tank of herbicide. This is I'm at 44 percent. I'm still going to have herbicide left when I'm done this field. It is very miserly on the uh, fertilizer usage. Um, pretty much, um, it was forty thousand dollars to have that additional option. If we take a look at it here, so uh, I've also installed the Coverland, <clears throat> the Giants Coverland ones that have uh, that option as well. So the John Deere one here, the Power Spray. Uh, if you go to the sea and spray, $39,000 extra. It'll add that to your cost of the sprayer. Uh, same thing with this. Anything that you do, the weed spot spraying, it's going to add 39000 So it's a little back one. I was considering doing this one. Um, but if I did the 65000 plus the four, so it's, it's going to be, it would, it would have been nearly... Um, Pretty, you added you added the front tank for extra capacity, which I don't even know if I need. I would have needed it, actually. <laughs> now thinking about it, because this thing uses so little um, herbicide, it's uh, ridiculous. And um, but it goes very slow, so slowly. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's been working. Uh, this field for well i've been working the other two fields for quite some time and um now sh now we're on the last field so looking forward looking forward in time um probably going to have to run two or three of these um at some point as we get bigger now let's if we look at our let's look at our environmental score because um yeah see look at that now we're we're not now we're coming up on some really good numbers uh we didn't till or anything it was no till we're spot spraying uh let's uh, look at our uh the details uh, uh let's see here environmental score uh, there it is. Well, we're we're kind of all. Uh, which one is the top one? Uh, there we go. Oh. Uh, there we go. The top value. Oh no no no. There we go. Top value is nitrogen. So the nitrogen portion of it is at ninety eight. Or right, you see all these values here. <clears throat> right, so for some reason our grass field is, uh, oh, what was, what's that third one down? Weed control. Weed control? Huh. Well, there's no, oh, I wonder. 
Uh, weeds are on, but we didn't have grass chosen. Yeah, no weeds. That's weird. Um, it's <laughs> it's given me a poor score because of weed control. That's odd. Um, well, <clears throat> uh, we're getting high scores on these fields, so we're going to see if we can address why our weed control score is so low on there. But anyways, we're going to finish this off, and then we're going to, uh, I don't know, peruse... Uh, Maybe do some contracts meanwhile to fill the time. We got some sewing contracts. We got some, we do have some spraying contracts, but they're going to take forever. Uh, harvesting, not so much. Fertilizing, maybe. Nope, no to cultivating or baling. Baling, no, no, totally not. Plowing, I don't have a plow. Well, there's a bunch of sewing contracts, so we might, we might do those meanwhile. But anyways, uh, we're going to carry on with this and we will catch you um probably in a little bit uh welcome to the episode and uh we'll see how far this one progresses it's kind of like spring finishing up the spring and then kind of just waiting the the, the summer lulls uh you know we go fishing uh, do a little camping kind of chill out relax not a whole lot going on uh during the summer period um, you know, getting the equipment uh, fixed up and ready, checking our used equipment, nothing right now. Keeping an eye out for um, a large tractor or maybe another harvester, something like that. So we'll see you um, on the flip side. And we're back. Right, so it didn't go did we, did we go forward in time i don't know if we skipped a day or not anyhow uh we we mowed and collected our grass off our grass field again uh but didn't turn into hay because i wanted to we have lots of hay and uh well the best way to do this is if we do this because i've been busy um i swapped out uh I emptied this silo that was over here, if you recall, of course, and uh, we've uh, been busy building stuff. <laughs> so I've placed uh, I've placed this uh, this silo that is uh, this one here, the lar silo large, twenty million liters, fifty thousand dollars. Pretty good. Sorry about that. Pretty good price for uh, the size. <clears throat> it will hold everything. It will take bales. Um, moving on here, I put another uh, fermenting silo up. So we got uh, we have all the straw and uh, all uh, most of almost all of my grass in there producing. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. I got tired of buying lime, so I'm going to buy stones instead. I put up this. This is the uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Lime production. Doesn't need water. This one is just stones to lime. 1,000 liters of stones to 3,000 liters of lime. That's the best one, I think, so far. I also put up... Uh, I'm going to make my own seeds. Uh, this is the seed production here. Seed and fertilizer factory. So I can make uh, solid fertilizer as as well as seeds. And uh, we got some in there. So shall we go, uh, you know, investigate uh, how these things work? Um, so for seeds, you can either, either use slurry or liquid fertilizer. Plus, um, uh, I have some oats. So uh, uh, we, I threw my oats in there about three. 30 or 2,500 liters of oats. It's, as you can see, it's kind of chugging away. And I put a, I bought a, I bought a IBS container of liquid fertilizer. However, it didn't go, uh, it won't take um, the, the fertilizer in IBS. So I bought this uh, liquid, uh, lizard liquid tank. It was only $5,000. Um, so we have it here for liquids. It'll hold every liquid. It was pretty cheap, 15,000 liters or so. That's enough. This only holds 2,000 liters of liquid fertilizer anyways. 
Um, eventually, we're going to set up our own liquid fertilizer production. Uh, so it's kind of going to be turning into a, well, factories as well as uh, cattle, although we don't have any cattle yet. But we're building up to the cattle. We're building up to that. Uh, this is just a nice open um, silo. It doesn't take liquids. I don't think it takes liquids, but liquids. Um, I have another. I have other plans for liquid storage, so no problems there. Of course, the Hessian. Si uh, this one we have uh, 278,000 liters of grass and we have uh, a million liters of straw. So we already have 113,000 liters of silage in there. And this one is nearly identical. What does they say for, how much is there, 278? Yeah, so I split, I tried splitting. We got more straw in this one because I filled it up with straw. And I've already put some uh, stones in here, and it is chunking away with the lime pretty darn fast. 15,000 liters of lime already. So that's going to be nice. I won't have to buy lime just buying... St I don't have rocks on, stones on. Uh, and if we take a quick look at our productions. So here we go. There's the uh, grass and straw pumping away. Our lime chugging away pretty nicely. And for the seed production, as you can see, um, you lose a little bit with the slurry or the, uh, or the uh, fertilizer. It's just kind of like an active ingredient to activate the seed, the, the, the whatever, to turn into seeds. But it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. But we can also turn manure, you add manure and water into solid fertilizer, which is kind of neat as well. Also, there is... There is uh, in production something I do like, uh, not the sugar beet, uh, here it is, a slurry and digestate dryer. That's going to be handy when we put up our biogas, either buy, it, buy a biogas plant or we. I think we'll just put up our own little mini biogas, kind of like how we had it set up um, on the last map, but a little bit different, or on the last game but anyways so we've done just about there's contracts but i don't want to do those types of contracts that we have no no harvesting contracts i would like to get another harvesting contract and get some we still have the buy anything here for now um it'll likely get moved however this is becoming i'm buying less and less now that I'm starting to make my own stuff, which is the plan. Being self-sufficient is uh, is the plan. Uh, where are we going to set up our house? We still got the tent for now. We will set up something. We'll see. Uh, we're going to set up something. Maybe uh, probably on this side because this is kind of more the equipment. This will be the equipment um, repair. Um, living side the other side is going to be the production side that's kind of how i and we have the shed i don't know if i showed you this i think i must have showed you the shed yeah so anyways that's the plan it's starting to come together so we're going to have a nap and we're going to see uh what pops up tomorrow i think my our crop might be our crop might be ready to harvest tomorrow it's right on the edge so we could be harvesting tomorrow that'll be uh That'll be a big day. Well, that was a wonderful rest, and of course, as predicted, <laughs> uh, we are ready to harvest. We have, we have a uh, our our three fields again, three fields ready to harvest. Oh, wonderful, and uh, we're going to. Oh, there's one up here. We'll see. We'll check. The, no contracts for harp. Oh, well, there is contracts for harvesting, I think, but it's. Uh, still that stupid cotton so never mind and sewing so the, co the contracts are kind of lame right now i don't want to do bailing no 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 bailing anyways that's good enough uh, we have oh what's the price of tea in china uh oats oats are not too bad actually 
Uh, 20 animal dealer still is the best price. Wow, it's, you'd think that uh, that the other ones would uh, switch around. 2000. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's still above whatever the average says. It's weird. Uh, but the animal dealer, yes. So uh, we'll be just we'll be just taking it directly there actually instead of trying to store it and then take it over. Really, that's um Probably the best way. Uh, oh no, we want we want straw. Uh, we might uh, we might end up with so much straw. Uh, let's set the worker. There we go. Worker is activated. Um. Oh yes. I have. Uh, I encountered some problems with the. Uh, uh, with the uh, truck and uh, the IBS um, container and all that and it's just so I sold it I just like you know what I don't want to deal with it. I'm just going to get um, uh, something else kind of figured out in uh, my live stream on Friday was um, the workers the AI workers when sending them to deliver stuff or things like that don't like the modded equipment like modded trucks and modded trailers so um but if you have a base game truck for instance like this man tgs and a base game trailer that would be uh like uh for instance uh this one the crampy uh, yeah, no problem whatsoever delivering stuff for the most part. Uh, although on this map, that animal dealer cell point is, uh, is problematic because of the way it's, uh, situated. Uh, let's see, what's our yield? 112%. Huh. I think because I didn't mulch this side. Me thinks that's what's going on. Um, oh, one other little bit of a glitch. Well, not glitch. No, definitely not a glitch. Um, a The Hessian silos don't take bales, so... Um, I have to th put them in the silo. If it's bales, I have to, I have to bale bust them into the silo and then take it out of the silo into the, the fermenting silos, which is a little bit of a pain, but not, not desperately so. Um, oh, used equipment. What do we got? Oh, yuck! A raptor. Oh, and it. Uh, kind of wanted to go green. Oh dear. Pretty cheap though. Uh, that's the ooh. That's well. <laughs> oh, decisions, decisions. Well, we don't have to make that decision right away. Um, I'm having enough time trying to keep up with this one. Uh, Uh, one harvester anyways so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I'm really not sure um, I do I do I do want to buy as much as but I do want to buy more land that uh, uh, expansion is uh, uh, this this piece of land is actually not to 871,000. It's going to take a chunk of money out of our bank account, but uh, it's already planted with soybeans. It would be an easy, nice, easy harvest, and um, well, we might do that, but we kind of really need some equipment. So I guess that's where we'll we'll be harvesting and selling this side away. I think. Uh, what is it for? Don't even know if it's, uh, yeah, can't tell if it's been, uh, yeah. Don't know what the, uh, 
soil uh, condition. We can probably run over there quick. I wonder if, wonder if it'll tell us if it's been. I can't remember if it's been fertilized. We seeded it, but that's it. I might uh, I might just buy it and uh, fertilize it, lime it, get maximum uh, return on it. If I'm going to buy it now, I, this this is the time to buy it probably. I don't think there's a fertilizing contract for it. If there was probably I'd do that, get paid to fertilize. So, uh, 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 yeah, I did no data, of course, soybeans. Um, that was 11, 11. Let's just see if there's anything on 11. Oh, fertilizing contract on 11. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Let's, uh, let's accept that. <laughs> right. Being a little sneaky, but that's okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's take this back. He's already full. See, just looking after one harvester seems to be a full-time job almost. Of course, it's going fast. Of course. Right, okay, so we're going to get this. Grab the other tractor, and uh, i got to go back. I'm going to have to go, go and grab the other, because uh, uh, I don't, yeah. yeah. Well, I do have it. It's over, uh, it's over by the grass field. BGA plant because I just use it for liming now or fertilizing actually it's fertilizing I have lime in there right now I use I was using it for fertilizing the uh, or is it over there pretty sure I put it oh wait a minute no 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 almost forgot I left it over here that would have been a wasted trip yikes Yowzers, as as Shaggy would say. Okay, let's uh, get get her hooked up here. Uh, I notice it needs. A, I'll put the weight on the front. It's a little bit nose light uh, with the everything hooked up. So we'll do that. There we go. Right on, right on. Okay, there we go. Get uh, get that offloaded. I think I have some uh, fertilizer in here, actually, still. Grass, hay, straw, snow, sugar, lime, pig food, stones. Solid fertilizer, yeah, we got some. Not much, we'll have to top it up. Anything we don't use, we'll put back in. And we'll use it for next planting. We'll be planting once the harvest is done, of course. Eventually, we'll start making our own uh, solid fertilizer, of course. Because we want to be self-sufficient. And it's just fun making stuff that you're going to use later. I don't know. I think I like it. I, 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 you know, it is convenient buying it from the, the 8-2 studio silo. 
super convenient and cheap, but um, I do like the, uh, the, the production process too for stuff that I actually use. Uh, I don't, I don't, however, I don't find so much the production process for making like as much as, and this is no knock on, uh, uh, no knock on anyone who else who does, um, other productions. Um, I don't, um, I don't find making, say, for instance, donuts, and sorry, Rusty, but <laughs> I don't I don't find making donuts or cake, for that matter, or anything else that you just make it to sell it, kind of all that uh, interesting, personally. My my personal, uh, there we go, let it set a worker off. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing it. I don't know why it didn't show it before. That's better. We can show what we've been fertilizing. We should have plenty by the looks of it. Oh, wait a minute. We can do a little tricky trick here, I think. Uh, at least you could do the little tricky trick in Farm Sim 19 with uh, precision farming. Let's see if we can do it. Help window on. Let's see here. Uh, deactivate automatic application now change application rate we can put it all the way down to 18 the minimum yeah there we go <laughs> it still works so if you have precision farming I forgot about this until just now and you're doing a fertilizing contract to save um, on fertilizer you can dis deactivate the automatic rate as I showed you and uh, set it to the minimum which is 18 kilograms per hectare and you will still complete the contract yet uh, Put the least amount of fertilizer on there, um, thus uh, saving, um, thus making more money for you on the contract, and still doing and still completing it. So, yeah, it still works. Right. So we're going to uh, we're going to kind of have to babysit this guy for a little bit, as you can see, he's going to run into the edge here this is this is a yeah I don't think you can sell this uh, you can't sell um, this decoration here so owning this field will be a somewhat of an annoyance with that there um, but not terribly so um, it's still mostly a rectangle shaped field and um, that's okay uh, it's not uh, it's not terrible it's not like some fields on some maps where it's like it's just so so misshapen that uh, a workers just just don't they can like maybe you're lucky if they 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 cover half the field and uh, we'll set this guy, turn him around. There we go. Like so. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be good. Right there we go. Set him off. Uh, this guy's stuck here. All right. Um. So I'm reconsidering. Um, reconsidering uh, how I if I'm going to continue to uh, make bales to pick up straw because um, well yeah I'm, I'm most yeah I don't know I'll keep the baler over for the grass and the hay because it pretty much gets 
dealt with over there, and then I'll transfer it over here when I when I need it. But um, for straw, str all the straw comes here. So yeah, I might just buy a uh, loading wagon. I might, but then I have to do it. Eh. I don't know. We don't have the milling machine yet. That was the quickest and easiest way to pick up straw. So that's going to be something I... Uh, whoa. Um, I still need to. I'm probably going to end up doing the bailing thing again. Just because I have it. And... Uh, I'll see you. I'll figure out something later. Anyway, so... Oh, let's turn this help window off. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, that's where we're going to... Oh, I suppose... What do I do? What do I suppose? I think we'll wrap it up here because we've... Uh, we've probably hit our just about... Um, limit for time. I uh, don't want to make the videos too long for you guys, so next time uh, we're going to, uh, next episode, we're going to be doing seeding again. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant, actually. We don't really need straw anymore, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. And uh, anyways, um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and I am the Six Million Dollar Farmer. And as usual, remember everybody, it's only a game. So till next time.